Oh boy, so here they come. Here they come. Oh, 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 oh. What's not real about him? He doesn't do dog things. Does that mean I don't need the plastic bag? Dad, I'm serious. Okay, <laughs> okay. What doesn't Guinness do that other dogs do? He won't get a stick when you throw it. <laughs> See? And he doesn't even hang his head out the car window when we drive. A wise choice, if you ask me. All he wants to do is eat and sleep. He's like a cat. He never makes an effort to do anything dogs do. Maybe you should make an effort. Me? Yes, an effort to appreciate Guinness for who he is, just like with people. Okay, I'll try. But can I ask you a question? Sure. Why don't you appreciate me for who I am? What do you mean? Well, you won't let me turn my hat backwards or wear baggy jeans. Maybe that's who I am. No, it's not, because there are no baggy jeans in the Bindle Deep DNA. Boy, pull your pants up. So you're okay getting the kids ready? I wouldn't ask, but this publisher wants to get everything settled today. Don't worry, Norma. I can handle everything that needs doing today. What's this? The list of things I need you to do this afternoon. Kind of a large list. Well, darling, that's the usual list. And now that I look at this list, I can see what you're doing wrong. Why don't you enlighten me? It says here, mayonnaise. We need mayonnaise. When was the last time you bought mayonnaise? Mm, we go through a jar about every two weeks. Not anymore. We stop feeding the kids? A simple mathematical equation will rectify everything. I can't wait to hear this one. We have how many kids? Three. And they average how many sandwiches a week? Five or six each. Let's say six. That's 18 sandwiches, plus throw in another six between us times two weeks. Weeks, thus one jar of mayonnaise lasts for 48 sandwiches. Makes sense to me. However, if I go to that food warehouse and buy a giant jar of mayonnaise, the one that's so big it barely fits in the back of the car, we will not need mayonnaise for months. Arthur, if it barely fits in the back of the car, how's it going to fit in the refrigerator? Right. Get out of there! Ooh. You got dog slobber all over my math book! Ooh. Out, Guinness! You flea bag! Come on, Mr. Bummy. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. If you fall off the bed, it's the end of the world. No! Oh. No! It's the end of the world. <laughs> Guinness, get off! You're scaring Mr. Bummy! You're Ooh. a rude dog, Guinness. Get down! I can handle breakfast. I'm just warning you, they are very picky eaters. I'll have you know, I teach over a hundred kids a day. I have a doctorate in communications, and I once ran the mile in four minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> I can feed three kids breakfast. Thick oatmeal. I hate oatmeal. Screw me, lumpy. Okay, no problem. We have dry cereal. I don't like that cereal. Why not? It's boring. I like cereal that's shaped like stuff. Exactly what kind of stuff? You know, marshmallows, cookies, clovers, breakfast stuff. Are we talking about the same meal here? Dad, I have to go. Ah, uh -uh, not until you have breakfast. Come on, this cereal is fun. Look, it's shaped like flakes. I'll grab something at school. You'll grab something here? This cabinet is like a... Jungle! <laughs> ah, fresh eggs! <laughs> Sunny side up. 
Is that okay? No, Dad, don't do that. No, Dad, don't. It's too dangerous. Breakfast is ready. for breakfast. Angie, I need a couple of bucks for lunch. You forgot your lunch? No, Dad packed my lunch. You want me to give you money because you're too special to eat oatmeal with raisins for lunch? Since when do raisins have wings? Gross! So can I have the money? Why don't you use your own money? I don't have enough for you. Please! I want to get to the cafeteria before all that's left is broken fish sticks and soggy green beans. Don't make me eat bugs. Okay, okay. Ugh, why do I always have to bail you out? Because Catherine is still in elementary school. I'll pay you back. You better. I hope you realize what a wonderful sister you have. Uh, I can see why Norma enjoys these afternoon walks. It really clears the mind, huh, Guinness? And after this, we'll get the groceries. Easy. What's up? Guinness! Heel! Sit! Hold! Stop! boy. Guinness? You lost Guinness? Oh, Arthur, how could you lose the dog? I didn't do it on purpose. You didn't see where he went? The dog just disappeared? In a nutshell. Did you check to see if Guinness went back home? Several times. Oh, Arthur, Guinness is a house dog. He isn't used to being out so long. He doesn't realize how dangerous it is. I'm sure he'll be all right. He has a name tag. And he's a smart dog. At least he has a name tag. We should do something. I'll tell the publisher that I have to cut things short. You'll do no such thing. I'll find Guinness. I'm gonna ask Groving Cloth to cover my classes this afternoon. I won't rest until I find that dog. This is how it's done, I swear it. Take the radius and square it. Multiply by the height and by pi to get it right. Then divide it all by three. It's the volume of a cone, you see. Well, it's the volume of a cone, you see. Oh, baby, that's a nasty B flat. Great class, Mr. Grovenclaw. Great really, class. Really, really good class. Really great class. Very impressive, Grovenclaw. This time, I wasn't going to lose them. I was determined to make them enjoy math. Sure seemed to work. Do you really think it did? I mean, I was so into it, I couldn't tell. I came here to ask a favor. Sure. My dog is missing, and I want to go look for him. Could you cover my class this afternoon? No problem. Great. Here's my lesson plan. Would you mind terribly if I sang it? I would be honored. <laughs> Find him? Maybe. I bet we'll find him tonight, Catherine. I was so mean to him. He came into my room this morning and I yelled at him. I'm so mean. It's not your fault he ran away. It's no one's fault. These things happen. Daddy, why did you let Guinness run away? I didn't let him, honey. I tried to find him. You should have tried. Huh? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs>
Sometimes we don't realize how important something is until we don't have it anymore. I remember this great coat I had when I was 10. Honey. Okay, listen up. Sitting around here won't help find Guinness. We need to take action. Guinness couldn't have gone very far. Your father's right. We need to go and find Guinness. But we don't know where he is. Well, Guinness always liked going to the pond. Maybe that's where he is. Yeah, no one liked the pond like Guinness. Good idea. Okay, get your coats and let's go. I guess he's not here. What else did Guinness like to do? He likes to roll down a hill on the other side of the park. Yeah, no one likes to roll better than Guinness. Excellent idea, Roy. You really think so? Absolutely. To the hill! Guinness! Guinness, over here! No sign of him. There's got to be something we're not thinking of. Hey, when I walked Guinness, he would always pull me to Miss Taylor's house because she would always give him a treat. Yeah, no one likes to treats more than Guinness. To Mrs. Taylor's house! I guess no one's home. I was sure he'd be here. It was a good idea, Angie. There's gotta be something else. What else did Guinness like to do? Maybe we should go home. We can't, Daddy. Guinness is still missing. You guys did all you could. We all did all we could. I think Dad's right. We're not doing anyone any good standing out here in the rain. We can't give up. We are bindle beeps. We don't give up. We're just regrouping. I promise Guinness will be fine. How can you be sure? Look at it out there. Guinness hates the rain. One, two, two three, three, four. four. That means it's four miles away, right? That's right. I hope Guinness is closer. Hey, we've got to remember that even though Guinness is our pet, his ancestors were wild animals who lived on cunning and instinct. some pictures of Guinness. Which one should we use for the missing sign? Oh, here's Guinness at the beach. He loved the beach. Remember when he jumped in after a fish and got seaweed all in his fur? He was so cute. Ah, and there's Guinness as a puppy. Remember when Guinness was little and he was chasing that fly around the house? Oh, yeah. And he ran into the coffee table and thought the fly hit him. <laughs> and after that, he would run and hide any time a fly got in the house. <laughs> <laughs>
for bringing him to school for show and tell. He ate a jar of paste. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when he gets in my bed at night and cuddles. You said you hated that, Angie. You even banned him from your room at night. Well, I miss it now. <laughs> No, honey, we haven't found him yet. Do you think he'll ever come back? Guinness, where are you? Guinness! I know, honey. We all miss him. Catherine, get inside. You're getting all wet. But it's Guinness! Guinness? Guinness! <laughs> Welcome home, old boy. So, with all the craziness today, I forgot to ask how breakfast went without me. Breakfast? This morning? Yes, that breakfast. How was it? Did you talk to the kids? No. Couldn't have been better. Really? Absolutely. Every food group was represented proudly. Really? So what did Catherine eat? Catherine. Oh, let me think. She had cereal. Which cereal? The fun one. We ran out of that yesterday. Well... Maybe it didn't go exactly as planned. How bad was it? Bad. Very bad. What about the shopping? Shopping? You didn't go shopping? I would have, but I lost the dog. As excuses go, that's pitiful. I promise never to take you for granted again. I will forever appreciate what you do. What's wrong? Is that all you appreciate me for? Breakfast, dog walking, and shopping? Oh, of course not, dear. I also appreciate you for picking out my socks and underwear. <laughs> By the way, when you go shopping tomorrow, I've got a couple of things to add to the list. Shopping? Tomorrow? I don't know if I'm able to do that. Did I mention I hurt my arm? Mm -hmm. Uh, chasing Guinness. Thank you.